What's up everybody, Joe Nichols, Safety Samurai over here at our Radiance Distribution Center in Memphis, Tennessee. We're gonna keep talking about winter products because it's getting cold. We need to stay warm. So let's talk about my favorite Radiance winter glove. That is the RWG 28. It's a uh, kind of an economical waterproof. It's an anti-cut level A2 glove. This is a waterproof double dip coating. The first layer that we put in it, we dip it and we do a smooth latex and we dip it up to the wrist. That waterproofs the glove up to the wrist. Then what we do to ensure that you're still getting really good grip, we dip it a second time in a sandy latex. That really enhances your grip, gives you really good abrasion resistance, just gives you a really nice grip, very flexible as well. This is a double layer shell. The RWG 27 that we did before was a single layer. It's a little bit nicer shell though, because we used a 13 gauge nylon outer shell and then we put a 10 gauge acrylic inner shell in the glove. So remember the gauge? The gauge is real simple. It's how thick or thin the glove is. The lower the gauge, the thicker the shell. The higher the gauge, actually the thinner the shell. The higher it is, the thinner it is. The lower it is, the thicker it is. Most people, they'll put a seven gauge acrylic liner. We put that 10 gauge in here. So what does that mean? Well, one of the biggest complaints is when you're wearing the glove for eight hours, you get hand fatigue. Since we put a thinner glove in there, we're getting more dexterity, more flexibility, less drag, and also it doesn't decrease your warmth. We made sure of that. Next, what do we, what do, we do that made this glove a little bit different than our competitors? A lot of people, when they do a double layer glove, they don't fasten both layers. And so when you take your hand out, you pull out that, that inner and outer layer from each other and then your gloves rendered useless. We actually fastened this, both layers, in the fingertips and a few other spots to ensure when you're taking it off, you're not ripping the inner layer out of the outer layer. All right, last but not least, this is an ANSI cut level A2 glove. You know, it's not made out of HPPE or Dyneema or anything like that. It got its cut rating because of how thick the yarn is. However, it is a legit ANSI cut level A2 designed for any type of nuisance cuts, anything like that. Applications. This is a great glove if you're actually working in any type of weather like snow, any type of waters, any muck, you know, concrete, anything like that. Great glove for that. Samples, you know, I'll send them to you. If you got a question, quote, anything, leave me a message, comment, let us know. Really appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day.